Hello, everyone. In the previous parts, we have built a web application, deployed a container image to Docker Hub, and explored Azure Container Instances and Web App for Containers. In this part, I will cover another option to store images, which is Azure Container Registry. And it can provide certain benefits. For example, it can reduce network latency and eliminate unnecessary costs and charges by keeping your registry in the same data center as your deployments. And it also gives us local storage of the container images within our subscription, and also full control over access and image names. And at the same time, working with Azure Container Registry is very similar to working with Docker Hub. We can create uh, a resource for Azure Container Registry using az acr create command, indicate the name of the container registry, resource group, that it is admin enabled, and then indicate the SKU. And Azure Container Registry is available in several SKUs, basic, managed basic, managed standard, and managed premium. Uh, managed SKUs provide advanced capabilities, for example, uh, we can use managed storage and web hooks. So there are also various ways to find out what is the login server name uh, that our registry has. So first, let's log into our registry using the ACR login command. And then we can run az acr list command. And this command will return a lot of information. And what we need here is the field that is called login server, that is containers.azurecr.io. Yours can be different. And if you just want to receive one field, you can always indicate the query. Uh, so we wanted to return just a CR login server. Uh, and then the second command can be really useful to you. Then similar to the steps with Docker Hub, we also need to tag our image with the Azure Container Registry uh, repo name and push the image. So we can use docker tag command. The first parameter is the local image. And then the second parameter is containers.azurecr.io slash AC Scala. We want it to be version 1. So this is the remote repo name. And after that, we're ready to push it. So we're doing docker push. And uh, that should be it. After the image is pushed, it is really easy to check that it is really in our uh, container registry. So we can use command like az acr repository list, indicate the name of the container registry, and then we will receive a list of uh, all of the images that it contains. Sometimes we want to format it as a table, so we can do that too. And if we have a specific container image in mind, and if we want to have more details about it, for example, we want to receive a version that um, it has, so we can use the uh, show tags command. And this is the last one. So also to change uh, the registry of the web app to Azure Container Registry instead of some other registry, we can navigate to the settings of the web application go to Docker Container Settings, and uh, basically select the Azure Container Registry there. And if you used managed SKU during creation of the registry, you can also set up web hooks for automatic updates on the push. And if you have chosen basic, then just restart your web app to trigger the Docker pull from uh, the new registry. And to verify that it works, you can always go to Advanced Tools option in the UI and select CUDA Bash. Basically, uh, navigate to logs, log files directory and uh, check the log that says that there is a pool from the correct uh, Docker registry, not from the old one. It is always interesting to see various programming languages and platform in action. And I really encourage you to try Azure with the language stack of your choice. And let me know about your experience or whether you're having any issues. In this series, we have looked at Azure Container Instances and Azure Web App for Containers. For more sophisticated scenarios, let's try Azure Container Service. So try this out. 
reach out to me and my direct messages are open. Always happy to connect. Feel free to reach out. And for more information, visit aka.ms slash app dash containers.